Hello everybody, my name is Zul and welcome to my modding tools tutorial video on TS5 Edit. TS5 Edit or the Elder Scrolls 5 Edit is a Skyrim modding tool that is similar to several tools that were developed for Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. It is a tool that can actually be used to create merged patches, uh, clean mods uh, from identical to master references. If you don't know what that is, don't worry. Um, I'm not going to explain it in this video, but uh, I will explain it later, and there's tons of videos on the internet explaining that. Uh, the tool also helps detect load order problems. So if you're playing Skyrim and you launch the game and it instantly crashes to desktop, uh, it's probably because you are missing a master file, and this is a tool that actually helps find the master files that are missing. Uh, so there's that. Uh, in this video, I'm just going to be covering merged patches and the master file detection. I'm not going to be covering any of the other features, although there is a lot. Uh, keep in mind, this is an experimental tool. It is essentially in beta, so if it messes up your game... You know, no liability on the mod author's part. You can blame me because I'm terrible. Don't blame me, by the way. That was that was a joke. Don't blame me. I really cannot take responsibility for your games. Although I will try and help you if you leave a comment. Anyway, without uh, further blathering, let's get started with the installation of this tool. All right, so I am actually here on the Nexus page, and what we're gonna need to do to install this mod is we're gonna need to navigate along to the file section right here. Uh, we're gonna have to download manually because that's the only option. Now, don't worry about that. I know some people are uncomfortable with downloading manually, but uh, you're just gonna get this RAR file here. It's not actually a mod itself. Extract that on the desktop here and we'll get this folder. In this folder we have the scripts, we have a little thing that says that it's hard coded, and we have a readme file as well as the executable itself. I would take a glance over this readme file, it does give you some documentation on how to do this, a little bit more official than what I'm showing you. Uh, and This can be put anywhere on your system, so you don't really need to worry about the location, although you have to keep all these files together. I have a personal preference of keeping this in my Skyrim folder, so Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Skyrim. I keep it there just so I don't lose it. Uh, you can create a shortcut to your desktop if you would like, I personally just leave it there, so there's that to keep in mind. Uh, I'm now going to launch the tool with uh, a problem in my load order just to give you a quick example of what happens when uh, you have a crash to desktop. Uh, basically, I'm going to remove something in my load order so that it loads below the master file, and normally my game would crash to desktop when I do this, but the tool is actually going to point out exactly what's wrong, so allow me to do that now. Before I begin my demonstration, I'd just like to quickly explain the concept of master files and load orders. Uh, this is responsible for a lot of people's crashes to desktops. If I go to any plugin in my Skyrim load order and I click on it, there are master files. These are files that it requires. They must come above it in load order. This is the load order. Uh, Boss helps you with this, but it's not perfect. Essentially the way the game works is that it loads this, then it puts this on top, and it essentially stacks everything on top of it. Uh, this means that if one mod changes things and another mod changes something else later, the later mod wins the conflict. It also means that if you require uh, the, I don't know, if you require Falskar, for example, for the Falskar Realistic Needs and Diseases hotfix, then if you don't have Falskar installed, your game will crash to desktop. I have actually already taken the liberty of uninstalling Falscar. I'm just going to show it to you right here. Falscar is uninstalled, but the patches that I have for it are still installed. This is going to lead me to crash to desktop. Uh, this by the way is the TSV Save Game Manager. I am going to be doing a video on that later. Keep an eye out on it for maybe a week, uh, maybe a little longer, I'm not too sure. Uh, but as we can see here, my game is launching. It's good, you know, not, not the- Oh! Look what happened. You have probably experienced that before, but you, unlike me, have probably not just uninstalled a mod and knew where it was. You might have been installing some mods and just not noticed that you accidentally checked off a box that said compatibility patch with such and such, and you have that in your load order, and now it's ruining your game. DSV Edit can help. 
Again, this can be installed anywhere on your computer. We're just going to leave it here for the purpose of this video, but I would stick it in a folder somewhere. We're going to run it. It's going to show us a list of every plugin in my game, which is a lot in my case. I'm then going to press OK. Uh, we're going to keep an eye on the right hand side here, and we're going to notice that it's actually reading all of my plugins. It's going to go through them one by one by one, and it's essentially going to just scan them, take a look at them, and it's going to add them in, in the order your load order. Now this is a very powerful tool, um, but you'll see that it had an error. And, well, I'm not really sure what that is. If we scroll down, distant detail HF was the last thing that loaded. Uh, we'll notice that it started trying to add false guard dawn guard. It added the master Skyrim, it added the master update, it added the master dawn guard, and it tried to add false guard. There was an error cannot find the specified file. That's because it's not there. This is a good way of checking if you're having a crash to desktop issue. The way to fix this is to either remove the Falskar patch or in my case, install Falskar. I'm going to have to run boss to get my load order back in its correct orientation. And then uh, we're gonna run the tool again. So I'm just gonna get this all set up and then I'll meet you there. All right, welcome back. And as you can see, Falskar is back in my load order. So we're gonna try running the TS5 edit once again, and we're gonna see what it gives us this time. Uh, so hopefully there's not gonna be any errors, and then I'll show you how to make a merged patch. Uh, while this is chugging away at all my information, I'll explain what a merged patch is. So if we recall earlier, I explained that uh, mods load in order, and they sort of overlap each other with the later things winning the conflicts. Uh, well, this can mean that mods won't be compatible with each other. If one mod edits the Iron Sword in one way and one edits, edits it in the other way or something similar to that, basically you're going to end up with only the last mod winning and the first mod not getting any effect. Uh, and if you create a merged patch, it essentially takes the changes from all the mods, gathers them up together, and lets them all win. It's not perfect, I mean the compatibility patches made by mod authors are much more detailed, much more focused, so you need those, but this is a nice little way to put a nice patch over your game to try and help things work together a little bit better. It's, uh, it's something I would recommend that everybody does. I don't know, the creators of this tool, because this cool tool is still currently experimental, but it's something that you've been able to do with both FO3 and FNV Edit before, so I would recommend it. Uh, obviously I have about a million plugins here, so this is going to take forever, so I might just cut if it uh, takes any longer. Let's see how long we are in my load order. We're pretty much there, so... I'll just wait for it to be finished. You can see I actually have a merged patch that I, uh, I made earlier today. I actually lost the footage to uh, the beginning of the scene, unfortunately. So I'm doing this for a second time. And there we go, background loader finished. So there was no problems with my game. It, uh, if I launch it now, it's not going to crash to desktop. But I'm gonna show you how to make a merged patch before we finish this off. So you just right click anywhere over here, click other, Create Merged Patch. And it'll tell you that a merged patch is unsupported for Skyrim. Uh, yes, I'm personally aware of that. Uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and click Yes to continue. So it's going to ask me for a file name. I'm just going to call it Merged Patch. Uh, I'm going to click OK. And it is going to add all of this. Now, one thing if you uninstall a mod, uh, you're gonna have to recreate your merged patch. Uh, so it's a little bit inconvenient, but essentially, if say I were to uninstall Falskar, because I don't want it anymore, I beat it, and I'm I'm insane because I don't want that mod anymore. I don't know why you wouldn't, but say I didn't. Uh, I uninstall it, I'll get one of those crashes again, and that's because uh, it essentially, my merged patch is gonna add everything to my masters. Uh, so I'll show you that with the merge patch that I've already created. This is gonna take some time. You're gonna exit out of here. It's gonna say this. It's gonna ask you if you'd like to save changes. I'll just click yes, just for the sake of things. Uh, and then I'm gonna launch my Nexus Mod Manager. 
I'm gonna scroll down to my merged patch, this is the one I made earlier, and we'll see all of these are the masters for it. So it's actually putting all of these changes into one big file. You can actually look at the changes themselves with TSB Edit. Uh, I don't really want to do that again, uh, but that's a bit more of an advanced feature. And there's other videos for this, and I might cover it in the future, but I'm trying to put this video in layman's terms just so you understand exactly what's going on. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate the views. That's pretty much all there is. Please, please, if you're uh, willing, check out some of my other videos. I do modding for a bunch of different games, got tutorials, I got some really bad Let's Play videos. You know, I played Octodad. If you like face palming constantly, watch, watch that. It's, I'm a terrible human being. Um, and please consider subscribing to me. Uh, I might learn how to talk if I have more subscribers. Uh, sorry for the long outro, by the way. I, I, if you watch my video, you know I ramble at the end of all of them. So I'm just going to end it right here. It's over. I've been Zul. Have an excellent day.